For the second week in a row, leaders in Rocky Mount are trying to figure out how to handle a growing controversy. Hundreds of people are packing City Hall right now, with some questioning the way the city manager is running things and others defending her. CBS 17's Kelly Kennedy digging deeper into the story for us. And Kelly, it sounds like officials didn't really want to talk to you about this. Yeah, that's right. I started the day by trying to get interviews with the mayor, city council, and the city manager, but that did not work out. So as you'll see, I tried a different approach to get answers. Now, whether or not city manager Rochelle Smoltoni will keep her job is still up in the air. The city has called for a review of some of the city manager's actions. The investigation will look at employee morale, employee turnover, compensation practices, hiring practices, and overall financial management. Now, Mayor David Combs addressed the controversy for the first time today. He said as mayor, he does not have the authority to fire the city manager. He said city staff was aware of the issues from Smoltoni's past before they hired her. He says they even sent the retired police chief to Savannah to do an investigation, and they determined that most of the accusations against Smoltoni were political, and she had not committed any real wrongdoing. Now, he said he does have some concerns, though. I want to assure our city employees that we expect any manager to create an employment atmosphere of collaboration and not intimidation. Each and every employee needs an opportunity for professional growth and a pathway to promotion. I'm concerned that we have lost a number of employees with years of experience over the last year. Now, I did speak during the public comment period. The reason I'm here is because I requested interviews with city council, the mayor, and the city manager, and those requests were denied. Now, I did not get any response from city staff. I also asked Small Tony to give us her side of the story. She also did not give me any response. The city has also not said how long this investigation will take. Reporting live in Rocky Mount, I'm Kelly Kennedy for CBS 17 News. Nice.